hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a worn country full of them. So our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. Listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! Martin, good to see you. They got your sorry butt here too, huh? Hey, good luck. Move it, ladies! This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance! Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns! Five rounds, boys! Stay low! Climb these ladders, privates! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table.
To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Fire six more rounds at your target, in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving, in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. When your magazine is empty, your weapon will reload automatically. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. Hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Fire ten rounds at your target, first from the hip, then aiming down the gun sight. Few steps while aiming down your sight. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now switch weapons, Private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. Make the wrong choice and you could buy the farm. Fire three more rounds at your target. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the concrete post and lean out to the left and the right. This will help protect you from the enemy. All right, Private. Move on to the next area. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, Grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H-hour D-Day, Seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here, at the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. 
This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. schon seit Wochen bombardieren. Na und? Die bombardieren doch alle. Was sollte die hier schon besonders interessieren?
guys, get set to move. On my command. Let's go, let's go.
Hostiles, go! Stand back! Fire in the hole! All right, fellas, take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. Church! Everyone else, follow me!
They're falling back. Push them out of here. We just spotted German mortar teams to the south. I say we move in quick and take them out. Nice one, Parker. Okay, guys, be ready to use any grenades you have left. Put down suppressing fire only if you need to. Do not waste your ammo. All right, let's put those mortars out of business. Covering fire! Italian in this rolling junkyard. What do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relief soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir. You bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh, man, this is nuts. I can't 
can't believe we're doing this. Believe it, unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job.
heard the German line. You can slow down, Private. I said you can slow down. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Sorry, sir. Right turn, right here. Yeah, you got it, you got it. I gotta go report in to Major Shepard to get our orders. Take five, but stay put. Okie doke, Sergeant. What the hell else am I? Third squad, get your 30 cal to cover our flank. Second squad, follow in reserve. I got point. Elder and Martin on my tail. Everybody set? Let's go! Draw their fire from the left. Second squad, hit them from the right. Go, go, go! Take cover. This cannon's about to go boom. All right, down the trench. Move out. Move. Give me cover, 
move on with two squad. Mark, take these explosives and try to shut their artillery down. I'll stay behind you and stay up. Second platoon, move in and secure these buildings. Now, let's go! Heads up, Jerry's outside. Grab that MG-42 and use it.
Mop up and get out of here. Right left. First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Mariglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Brecor Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R while you can. MG-42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point and knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Meet us at the front of the chateau. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
and meet back up with us. Sergeant Moody and I will find Price and Ingram. Job. All right, guys, we're moving on. Stay low.
Don't stop now. Bryce and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back, we're gonna blow them! Goodness me, Americans! Covering fire! Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry, I overheard where. Truck's out front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in. Okay, Martin. We're about ready to ram the gate, with less than ten minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck.
Yanks! Now, there's a spot of luck. Come to collect me, have you? Lead on, lads. No time for handshakes and hellos. Since June of 1944, the Allies have made enormous advances through Europe, sweeping through much of France, Belgium, and Holland, almost to the banks of the Rhine. Much of their success must be credited to the Russians, who, at Stalingrad, during the winter of 1943, destroyed many of the Germans' best panzer divisions. On the Eastern Front, the Russians have continued to push the Germans back through Russia and much of Poland, and will soon be on the banks of the Oder River and the border of Germany. The situation for the Germans has grown desperate. Allied bombers have reduced many major German cities to rubble. The German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, is a mere shadow of the power it once was, and can do little to stop the bombers, much less fight the Allied armies. The Kriegsmarine, the German Navy, is mostly sunk, its U-boats destroyed, and its sailors pressed into the army. However, the enemy refuses to surrender. Unable to stop the Allied advance, Hitler has turned to vengeance weapons, the V-1 and now the V-2 rockets. These rockets, although some of the most advanced weapons of the war, are too inaccurate to hit military targets. Instead, they are being used to terrorize London. Gentlemen, we fought a whole bunch of these, so I know you know what to do, but indulge me. Move quickly, cover your buddies, don't bunch up, and for heaven's sake, don't stop till we reach those bunkers. Don't you? 
down! Martin.